Hello, my little army of beavers. We are back with our, well, army of beavers. And when we left, it had just started the new wet season, which is great because now we get to test out our mega reservoir. They were almost done. As you can see, they only have five more. Yeah, five more dams left to build. Or not dam levees. And we will have the giant reservoir built, which will inevitably indubitably cause us to have enough water to last some pretty hefty droughts which will allow us to focus on other things because as long as we have water we can kind of maintain the food and if we can maintain the food we can stay alive forever food and water those are the important ones and also we have this new farm up here that's going to get built for food and yeah that's pretty much it we're going to try and get this power station finished, if possible, and see what happens. Oh my god, we have so many planks and logs. Holy crap, holy guacamole. And so many blueberries. So many. You're just sitting on your ass, aren't you? We always could just put another uh, warehouse down right there and then put that on top of it. Or something. We'll figure it out. We need more warehouses for the spatter dock and the potatoes. Holy crap. Uh, where do we want to put those? Let's start with that. Yeah, let's get some storage for the food. Like, we have a lot of food, but we, we could have more food. Where do we want to store them? What if we put some platforms? Oh, that's not platforms. The, this is a platform. And what if we just put them in the water right here? Because they're only two by threes, right? Yeah, there. So we can just put both of those in the water right there. And it saves us some land space. And we can make some of those potatoes and some of that spatter dock. Like, we could even throw another one in and make it carrots if we wanted to put a road right here for the carrots to go through. That's the easiest way. There we go. There we go. So now, instead of potatoes, we'll do... Uh, uh, carrots are... Uh, we're just connecting right now, which also means that we're going to plant some... What is that? Birch right here? We're going to clear this, and then we'll plant some birch over it. Yeah, that's what we'll do. That's what we will do. Mark resources for demolition. We'll get rid of those four carrots because they're not super important right now. We have a lot of spatter dock right now, which makes me very happy. We have dandelions. We have a bunch of food. It's a good time. And the water is slowly... Is it about to overflow? It's about to overflow the gap that we got going on. So we're going to speed up time. And we only have a... 15 hour work day which isn't super bad and I think we'll be just fine they're working on the power district which is nice uh, this over here is still going to end up just being a media let's get some priorities here uh no not high so what are my priorities for building right now uh, assign priorities those are high okay those and those are medium and then these down here, which is our emergency reserves, need to be medium. And now that we're here, we can start once this entire district gets built, more or less. Uh, once we get this district built, we can start working on perpetual energy and motion and things like that. Like getting water transported somewhere and then letting it continuously just flow through our town here. That should be fun. Uh, I have some plans for that, but... You know, I need to get there eventually. Hey, they already built two of these water pumps. They're underwater for a reason, my guys. There we go. And once those are built, we'll get rid of those. Our water is officially flowing off the map right now. And we have three days into the next drought. I don't know if they'll build these in three days. Hopefully they will. I mean, that's still... Even if that block goes bad, that's still a lot of water that we have saved up. And during the next wet season, we can... There's not a point in putting dams up, is there? I mean, I could... I can't make the reservoir any higher than it is without flooding... The possibility of flooding over here. So I think, as far as reservoirs go, this is probably going to be the biggest one until we get this one built over here. Which will be its own thing. There's levee across here and levee across there. And then probably pump water out of here or get water somehow transported up and over into here to flood this area out eventually though not not anytime soon right now the project is this which they are eh, they're gonna finish that before the end of the wet season yeah because that's already at eight and they only need two more 
let's up the work hours just for the rest of the wet season. We'll do your 16 hour, which is your typical work day here. How's our water doing? 2.6k. That's pretty good. Water up here is completely full. The reserve pumps are built. At least two of the reserve. Oh, there's all three. So we have three reserve pumps now. We have all of these built and pumping, which is quite nice. We have seven jobs. You know what? We're just gonna... Oh, there goes a flood right there. I guess we finally... Uh... Yeah, we started to hit that breaking point right now where the water's gonna back up until it starts hitting equilibrium. This is dangerous. But we live for the danger, don't we? Oh, it's 12 out of 12. They got one day. Is that causing major flooding? I wouldn't say it's major. It just takes a little bit to equalize now that it's definitely flowing through our dam right here. So once that's done, we will have a full reservoir for however long this drought may or may not be. Forecast is for a drought. We're prepping for a drought. Let's see what happens. He's going all the way down. This is the last one. This is it. Who is it? Who, who's our beaver in shining armor? Yemosasa. Regardless, there we go. We have the mega reservoir. It will cause a little bit of flooding, I'm sure, for now. Um, now they can focus on building this other stuff. Nice. We still have a little bit of flooding going on over here. Just from this. That's a little bit more than a lot, but you know. A little bit of flooding never hurt. It's good for the the seasons, you know. It's the ebb and the flow of the water. It has to go somewhere. And now it has a place to go. Where it can peacefully exit the map. And the whole goal is to keep any water that we generate from exiting the map at this point. The more water we have backed up, the better. So we have a drought started, 19 days. Not the worst drought we've ever had. I am not concerned. I will be demolishing these. Because we no longer need this work area. So we're just going to demolish all of this. We don't need any of this. And then realistically, we don't need the resources that were here. Okay, so we have those resources now figured out. The water situation is perfectly at hand and controlled. We are pumping away at our heart's content here. They are pumping away up here at their heart's content. Well, as content as their hearts can be, I guess. And the water down here is actually getting pretty full as well. So I think we're doing a pretty good job. I do think we're doing a decent job. Now they can start working on this and this. So we're going to high priority these shenanigans. And then we're going to normal priority. Well, high priority that. Is there even anything else getting built now? Not particularly. Okay, that's fine. Um, one of you is going to be spatter dock of the cooked potato and spatter dock. There we go. So once these get built, we'll have potato and spatter dock storage. And I think we're doing pretty good. We have our dams here and our dams here. We can pause you for a little bit, my guy. We don't need you right now. We don't need you right now. Not while the water is still that high. We'll, we'll deal with y'all later. Or we could have done it over here, I guess. Oh, that's right. I was going to build this up, wasn't I? We're going to not do that this time. Or we'll do it at another time. Why don't you... Oh, I accidentally destroyed a road. No, what have I done? Okay, there we go. And what was this? Rubble? Not my problem. Well, is my problem. But not a big problem. There we go. So the water is stable at 2,600. Is it going up, though? Is there a way to tell if my resources are going up or down? Flooded buildings. Okay, those are fine. These are going to be paused in the so it's not really a big deal. We have 12. We have 19 babies, though. We'll be fine. And then we're going to delete these now because we have these five. And then once those five run out, we're going to put in... Because they can pump to right there. We're going to put in another set of emergency ones over here. Oh, you know, that's what this was supposed to be. Okay, I remember what I was doing over here now. 
Okay. Now I remember what I was supposed to be doing over here. Okay. And once we get that, we'll just TNT that. But this was supposed to be a pumping area that uh, we're going to eventually have a mechanical way of getting water into. Yeah. Okay. Forgot what I planned on doing with this area for a little bit. That's fine. We'll need TNT eventually to get that anyway. TNT and all kinds of stuff. So our water is going up. Our food is going down, but I don't think it's going down enough to where I should care. Um, if anything, I just need to prioritize some storage so this stuff gets built a little bit quicker. And we're going to throw in our birch trees, right? Now. or I could put in some more storage right here. I could put in a wood storage because we have way too many trees right now. Storage. What is this? Gears? We'll do a wood... Yeah. Yeah, we'll do this. Underground. There we go. It leaves a little sliver right here for maybe some decorating. Ooh, a hedge. There we go. We'll put a hedge along that way. And this is going to be logs. Because that storage alone is 1,800 logs. So that'll... That's a lot of logs. That's, that's gonna... Jeez, 1,800 logs, right? Yep, 1,800. Okay. Well, that should be enough uh, log storage for the rest of the game. Put a pine tree right there, I guess. I did the dumb, didn't I? Yep. So we get rid of this one and put that lumberjack flag back. Okay. We'll do that one right there, because now he can cut all that. And then this will medium prioritize, and these low priority. Not a big deal. And look at that. We're already five days into the drought, and we're still kicking. Uh, what else can we do for food right now? Our carrots still kind of suck. Why do our carrots suck so bad? Once this gets built, we're going to replace this with another farmhouse right here. So we can have one group planting carrots and one group harvesting at the same time. I think that is the most efficient way to do it. Uh, and I think it takes longer to harvest than to plant. I'm not sure. We're going to have to time it. But I'm pretty sure it takes longer to harvest it than plant it. So we'll do that. And we can just have like one or two of them be planting or harvesting or whatever they're going to do. Actually, let's see what happens. So, And then what happens if we prioritize planting now? I just want to see one of them go plant real quick. Oh, yeah, no. Uh, we need like two planters or a planter and three harvesters. That's That's an easy day. That is an easy day indeed. Oh, our water. Our water is up to 3k now. That was fast. Uh, we're going to need more water storage soon, aren't we? Storage. Water. Giant tank. Uh, the giant tank takes metal beams, though. Building lacks workers. Ooh, we are completely out of haulers and one. Okay. That's not ideal, but we did have like 18 children, so as they start growing up down here, we'll see it over here that we have plenty of people to fill these shoes now. So now we have haulers all over the place. Good, 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 good. And that's keeping our woodcutters busy. Look at that. The power, the power relay is almost done. Or the power, whatever you want to call it. They're, they're almost done with all the windmills. I got this one and this one. We got more than enough resources for them. And then they just have to do the power transfer stuff all the way down here. So then we could do all of that. Very nice. Very nice indeed, my little beavers. Very nice. Oh, we still have this field up here. Hmm. Okay, how's our water looking over here? You know what we could do is put a water gauge. And that way we can just see how the water's doing. We could put it right there, because that is the deepest point in the reservoir. That's an easy, easy thing to do, so we can measure how much water. We're going to activate our pumps here. 11 days, and they're just going to try and catch up with some of the water that we've been dumping. And look at that, our windmills. Oh, they're almost done. Look at it. Look at it. Ah! We have windmills now. Very nice, very nice indeed. Uh, these will be done soon, yes, yes indeed. Good, good. 
do it, Anakin. I don't know where the snow. Oh, I know where the Star Wars. I've been watching the Clone Wars too much lately. That's where the Star Wars came from. Let's see. Yep. Almost all of it is done. They just have to build the transfer ones. And as soon as those are done, we'll be good to go. And we'll have two, two, a singular smelter, paper mill, and an explosive factory. I think the only thing we won't have is the... Um, I don't even know what to call it. Oh, this is useless then. Oh, don't worry about that one. They didn't even need it. There we go. It's built. It is... Well, they need one more right here. Uh, let me high prioritize that real quick and they'll build it. And then they can start work on these first. Construction site. Construction site. We'll get these built first. Oh, the save save. The save scared me. The save has saved me a few times, but it scared me then. And we're just going to start cleaning up a little bit. It's mostly just the paths I'm getting rid of right now. We don't need them for maintenance or any other miscellaneous reasons. So there we go. 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 Perfect. And this is quite nice. Quite nice indeed. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Yes, yes, yes. Good, good. Let the hatred flow through you, young one. Okay, so now we have two mills there. The problem with this is they're not going to be constantly powered. And I'm not sure how I want to handle that. Because the easiest way to do this would just to be to hook up two of these somewhere into the power supply. So what if we did it up here, though? If we went to power. And we just did two power wheels for the beavers. We did one right there and then one right there. And this would just keep a little bit of power in the system at all times. At least for those first two buildings. That way we can at least get rid of these right here and clear this area up. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Because right now these are nigh on useless without the wind turbines actually turbining. So we'll throw in some beaver power up here. And then once those get built, we'll get rid of these and these and we'll be set. Yeah, all of that's high priority. Okay, just making sure. And there we go. So now we have more room for potatoes and more room for grilled spatter dock. We have no logs now. Food is maintaining. Going down a little bit. Like I said, not super worried about it, especially once this gets built, but it needs a few more gears and he's not working at max capacity just because he only has this. I forget what he requires for that. Not a big deal. We only have eight days left in the drought. The water has only gone down one block, so I think we will be okay. We're still sitting around that 3K range. The food is, again, going down as it does. But I think we'll be okay now that we have this. And again, we have more beavers being born right now. Um, soon we'll have more space to put our farmers again. Actually, if we wanted to, we could do a farmer down here. Mm. Really hate that we can't freaking... Where do I want to put you then? I was going to say put a farmer right here, but I just don't like how that looks. But whatever. We can put a farmer there, and these have a prioritized on harvest. And this one will be a prioritized potato, and it will prioritize planting. And then we're only going to put uh, two workers in it, because we have three there, two there. Oh, I wait, did they update that? I didn't know that was a thing before. Huh. I, I didn't know that color... Was it? Okay, that's new to me at least. How did I how did I activate that? Oh, that's pretty cool because you can see what they take a while to get to or what causes issues with the pathing and stuff. I like that because now if I get rid of this, it'll turn these from red to green probably. Once I can connect this road. Watch green and now see how they're lighter green perfect that's actually really really cool uh, i have two beavers without a job and they're about to have a job but then i'm gonna have four beavers without a job 
So they have a job, but now we can unpause, unpause. And now we can uh, start deleting these. There we go. We've deleted those now. Because now we have this, and we will always have power running at least enough to power these two. So that has solved that issue. Six days left in the drought, water is fine, logs are rough, but that's because we just did a massive build project. Food is not stable, but not going down too much. Or at least not quickly enough for me to fret about it. That's a big word, I just used fret. Uh, let's see, let's get this place built. Not super worried about this getting built right now. And let's pick up these freaking logs that are in my way, please, and thank you. There we go. Get rid of these resources and build this. Okay, water level is doing perfectly fine. Did we build that? It is not built yet. It requires two logs. Okay. Uh, the logs are getting built slowly. Or built. <laughs> They're growing slowly. Uh, English is not my best friend. We're doing just fine. That only needs two more gears and we'll be done, so that's nice. Oh, we have two in storage, too. Perfect. So it'll be done very shortly. The water has finally dried up in the riverbed over here, which means our little water pumper here is doing his job quite nicely, keeping our spatter docks alive. So they're doing their job as they should, which is mm, chef's kiss. Magnificent. What are we doing over here? So the trees, eh, most of our trees will survive. That's fine. Because these don't die in 11 days, 13 days. They only got to survive like four days. That's not too bad. The water down here is officially one block lower. Again, not a big deal. We're doing just fine. Uh, ooh. But the water here causes that to die out. Interesting. So we're going to lose that crop. Which, you know, honestly, I'm not super worried about that crop. I'm more worried about this getting built, which still requires like 18 gears. Wait, didn't I say it required two? And, mm, 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 we're just going to ignore the fact that I can't count. Uh, nobody saw that. It didn't even make it into the video. And we're just going to demolish the building. Demolish the building. Probably demolish this too. Uh, I'll leave it in case we have to do maintenance on this pipeline or something. So now we need the two gear workshops built, or at least one of them built, so we'll normal prioritize that one. I have two beavers without job. That's pretty good. Six babies, two without jobs right now. I'll take that, because now I only need these two, and they plant the other's harvest. You see how much faster they plant versus harvesting? I could probably have one planting and keep up with three harvesting, because look at that. Hey. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. One planting, three harvesting. And then we'll do the same over here once this gets built with another 16. 60, see? I can count. 16. And now that means I can destroy this. Which means I can destroy these. We no longer require the water power. Very nice. Very nice. And that'll let us increase our spatter dock, too, once we get that planted. Oh, I could have just put the other farm right here. I still can put the other farm right here, is what I meant to say. And then high prioritize it. And then all of these. And then we're going to plant some spatter dock right here. Because we never can have enough spatty dock. There we go. Perfect. And then they'll build that. And I'll just delete this one. Sorry, guys. And then we're going to take you down to one, and your job is to plant, and you're only going to plant... Yep, okay, perfect. P -p 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 perfect. We are doing great things now. Great, great things are being done for the beavers of Beaverton. The beavettes of Beaverton, as was requested via comment in the last video. So, you know, if y'all actually comment, I do respond to the comments and I do interact with all the comments or as much as I can sometimes I can't interact with them for some reason there's a glitch right now on YouTube with comments but as much as I can I do try to interact with y'all on the channel so leave a comment and we'll see what happens maybe we can get some more stuff for the bvets now maybe I'll have some more ideas 
for the B-Vets. Or no, it's not the B-Vets, it's the Diggits, isn't it? I've got to check the comment. Oh no. The Daggets. I'm sorry. It's the Daggets, not the B-Vets. What was I? That sounds like a crappy boy band. The Daggets. Or the B-Vets. They're going to go sing now, the B-Vets. No. Um, anyway. <laughs> the Daggets. That's how you say it, right? Daggets. Are hard at work. There is 62 of them. That is a lot. This really just needs to be built. So um, we're just gonna... I mean, he's producing as many as he can, and they're going straight there. That's not the worst, I suppose. We're just not producing a whole lot in general. So maybe if we got a second one built, it would be better. Let's, uh... We already have a bunch of logs already piling up that we can get rid of. But our food has gone back up. Food is back up. Food is back on the menu, boys. And girls. And beavers. And strange flat-headed aliens. So let's see. What can we do for their happiness? Well-being. Well-being. Oh, so I did the research. I cannot put the temple... Or the water... The temple in the... I can't put the temple on the platform right here. So I will leave it up to you, the faithful viewers. The temple can go underwater and be submerged, or it can go right here and we can do a shrine or something that the temple is backed by in the water. Maybe a beaver shrine in the water, like one of the monuments. Uh, yeah, a brazier bonding or something that we put right here. And then the temple right here, so we have a giant beaver god overlooking everything. If that's what you prefer, let me know down in the comments. I'm just going to keep pushing comments because I like talking to y'all. What is this? Why aren't you stolen yet? And what are we waiting on here? Uh, oh, it's about to be built and the drought ended at the same time. You know what that means. It's built. And we'll see y'all after the wet season time lapse. All right, guys, it's the dry season. Uh, as you saw, we have flooding issues now. <laughs> so we have the opposite of the issues that we need. So I am building this levee to protect our industrial area for just a little bit, because we're gonna have what, planks, gears, metal blocks, paper. And we're gonna need quite a few of these, at least planks and gears. So we're just gonna Planks, gears, metal blocks, paper, gears. So I'm pretty sure when it comes to research, there's one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. There's one, two, three, 
four, five, six. There's six, and we have six storage, which will put us at 1,800 per uh, whatever we're using. So I think that's a good place for our storage right here, especially once we get this levee built and I just build another way down. Maybe we can just throw in a road right here, and it won't be a super big deal. And this is going to be our main storage area. That way the storage is right in front of the smelters, so they always have a place to put their resources. And I think that's pretty much got that on the head once they get this dam built, or this levee built. It reminds me of back home in Louisiana. Gotta have the levees to stop the seasonal flooding, you know? Uh, and as you can see up here, we're doing something similar to what I did down here just so we can trap water and then I'll put a pumper right here or over here so we can always have our crops up here because we do have some beavers that are unemployed every so often we are going to need some more room for some beavers pretty soon so I may take some housing here and maybe a double lodge or two and just flip them around and put them don't worry, I, I know, that's a lot of housing, and we're not going to have that much housing. And then we'll throw in a path right here, and throw a path in right here, and that'll just help, because then I can get rid of this these two. So actually, we'll do two, three. So I can get rid of two, and then have an extra one whenever it gets built. And we can always just connect this path, too. Perfect. And that is pretty pretty much all we planned on doing today was getting this industrial district done and seeing what your thoughts on the water temple were because we need to know if we were going to do the water temple or not oh look at it oh we're going to finish this at least so we'll do this we're going to demo that and then we're going to put in a another levy right here realistic we're demo that We'll demo that. Then we're gonna take. Oh, did I just do a dumb? I, mm, I might have done a dumb. These need to be high prioritized. And of course, that one. And at least leave a gap right there, because right now they can't. Ah, I I did the I did the silly. I did the silly again. I'm really good at that, aren't I? Uh, right now, they'll be able to... We have planks, don't we? Yeah, we have enough planks for this. As long as it's high pride. They'll build that, no problem. And then they'll get connected back to their workstations. Which leaves me with eight unemployed beavers right now. That's still a lot of beavers unemployed. Just eating food and doing their own thing. Let's go, beavers. Let's go. There we go. Okay. And they are now connected back to work awesome and this area is now flood protected and i can get rid of this because it's kind of unnecessary and i can just make this a straight line or a straighter line i should say i guess i could just do that make it a straight line kind of like that and we'll high priority that and yeah, because now they're just building this and this. Which again, most of these resources aren't in super big. So what we want to do, we'll do gears. Oh, gears don't even go in these. Oh, okay. So we'll do metal blocks. We'll do planks. We'll do scrap metal we'll do treated planks no. oh, 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 oh. yep okay uh, there's not a point in doing dirt just yet and we already have a log one but I guess we can throw in some more log storage just in case for now worst comes to worst we can empty them out and put some other stuff in it so when it comes to storage then if I wanted a large warehouse this is where the other stuff gets stored, so... We may end up, once the TNT is built, 
doing some uh, large warehouses right here along this wall. Once we can use our TNT right here and get our explosives factory going. Yeah, I think that's the plan. We'll TNT all of this down, push it back, and then we'll do a line of warehouses for the other materials that we will be producing right here. Yeah, I like that. I like the sound of that. I hope y'all like the sound of that, and I hope you enjoyed today's video, because unfortunately, that is all the time I have for today. And we still have nine days in the drought. This is a very short drought, so I'm not super worried about it. So thank y'all for joining. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys.